All right, guys. So I wanted to talk a little bit about. Okay, I wanted to. I, I've been talking a little bit about some P pump stuff, and I have guys asking about VEs. So this is a VE out of a non uh, out of an intercooled um, truck. Uh, the reason I can tell is because the delivery valves are shorter on those. That's a, just an easy visual visual way to show. So I'm going to show a little bit of quick. I'm not going to go super in depth into it um, because then, you know, like I could make five, six videos in depth. So this video would be super long. So we're just going to talk a general, I've done this on the, the P pump. We're going to talk general on this. And I have talked a little bit about this, but not just, I'm going to break it up into smaller videos. Um, so that way, if you're looking for certain things, you don't have to watch a 35 minute video to find out what you want. So um, just a quick for you guys that have never done anything on one of these things. Um, this is your AFC. So this would be your smoke screw is underneath here. We'll pull that out in a second. It's just a tin cap. Doesn't need to go back in if you don't want it to. Um, your power screw, which is this one. So this is, um, if this is the front of the engine, this is going to be on the, you know, obviously on the back, um, closest to the cylinder head. So this is your power screw, um, in and out your idle adjustment up here. And make sure, because Tim over at Decent Garage, um, he does watch some of my videos, he didn't put this nut back on. You want to make sure you put that nut back on because these things vibrate a lot, for you guys that don't know that. Vibration will make this screw fall out, or lots of times with these ones, they'll thread in. And when it threads in, it holds your throttle wide open. He had a bad experience with that. Make sure you put the jam nut on. There is, you can kind of screw around and do it a few different things. I personally never had a huge problem adjusting them, but here nor there. Make sure you put the nut back on. Um, this is your wide open throttle stop. Uh, you should never need to touch that. That's a pump adjustment for guys that are building the pump. So you should never need to touch, you never should need to touch that. Um, your, your manual shutoff. This pump, I don't think is any good by the feel of it, but um, I don't even know where it came from. It was just one that I had. Um, manual shut off. So if you're underneath the hood of the truck and you want to shut the truck off, as long as it's not running away, um, you pull that and the truck will shut off. This is your, your actual electric solenoid shut off. Um, there is actually upgrades. When I get into doing some of this, I, I'm going to do some upgrades to the one that I'm working on. Um, just so that I'll show you guys how to do the upgrades and all that type of stuff. So quick general overview, I guess you would say, um, now, if you're talking a, your AFC, oh, actually, let's pull this tin cap out first. Usually, these tin caps are pretty easy to get out of there. So, I just pull it out there, just like that. Looks like somebody's had it out before, though. Yeah, somebody's definitely had it out before. But anyways, so there's a nut and a stud that goes through it. And you can adjust that up and down for your smoke screw. So, farther down in it is the more smoke you're gonna have. So it's a pre-boost fuel screw. That's actually what it is. Probably not the actual, like it's probably not the Bosch name for it, but we'll go with that for now. We'll see, I don't know, I've never had this one apart, so I don't know if it's ever been molested or not. So pull this apart, that's where that stud comes in, comes down and it touches the top of your fuel pin, get that in the view here, touches your fuel pin and then, so stock fuel pin, if you're not changing your fuel pin, you can rotate it and get it to the high or lowest spot if you want to pull fuel out of it or put more fuel in it. Most guys are going to put as much fuel as they can into it because that's what we do. Um, AFC spring. This is whoop. This is a plastic um, actual. I guess you wouldn't say rack isn't the right word for it. Um, fuel pin limiter, I guess it would be actually. So basically, when the fuel pin goes up and down, this will only allow it to go up and down so far, right? I usually take those and put them in the glove box. So. Adjusting these, you're basically the same idea as a P-pump. 
They're very similar, different design, but similar. So if you wanna add more fuel out of the hole, you're gonna adjust this. Now that's if, that's if you're not touching anything else because I don't know how to explain that easy. Because these are a little different than a, than a peep pump. The fuel pin on a VE is like the fuel plate in a peep pump, basically. But with these pumps, you do have another adjustment so you can add more fuel. So it'd be kind of like an adjustable delivery valve for simple terms. So you can add more fuel with that, which basically adds the amount that the collar is over top of the plunger. In simple terms. So if you're adjusting it, if you want more fuel out of the hole, you're gonna adjust the smoke screw a little bit. Um, if you go down too far, then it's just a smoky mess and it doesn't work, I personally think anyways. Now you can get a, um, there's a fleet of guys that sell them, um, aftermarket fuel pins. I have some too, but they're just cheap ones that I have. Um, I don't even remember where I bought them from. I bought a bunch one time. Never had any issues with them, but they're nothing special. Um, just a better design than what these are. Give you more fuel and more travel. Actually, let me go grab one. So here is the factory one, and then there's the aftermarket one. So that gives you an idea, the difference between the two. And this one allows for more travel at, than this one does. So that helps too. So when you're taking this puck out, it actually makes a, uh, makes a bigger difference. Um, and then something else, uh, well, I'll talk about that in a minute. So that's the fuel pin. You can buy these all over the place. So, you know, whoever you want to buy that from, I probably will have a couple different ones on the website. When the website gets uh, going here, um, I won't get into the website anymore than that. But anyways, um, when when the website is live, I will there will be a link in the description if you want to check out any of my products, merch, any of that type of stuff. Um, and then the star the star wheel, which is same does the same thing as the P pump ones do. Basically, if you wind it down, it gives it less tension on the spring. You pull it up, it gives it more tension on the spring. So less tension, the fuel will come on faster more tension, it will come on slower. You still get the same amount of fuel, providing you don't get coil bind. Um, you will still get the same amount of fuel, you just get it, it, it at a different rate. So just so you understand that. Um, and as far as tuning these things, now you can do timing two different ways on these. You can adjust, well I shouldn't say two different ways, three different ways. These are slotted, so you can actually turn the pump back and forth. You can put a dynamic fuel plate, which goes in between here, which we will be doing, but a dynamic fuel plate, which goes in here, or you can actually physically pull the gear off, index the gear and put the gear back on, pull a two, three, whatever, how many degrees or how many more degrees of fuel you want or uh, time you want. Usually I'll go at least two and then I rotate the pump all the way the opposite way. So then if I want to add more time, I don't have to take the front of the engine off uh, or take the, the cover off. So it's f talking about uh, more into tuning on it. Um, usually how I set them to start with is I set the smoke screw in neutral, which is basically the smoke screw just touching the top of the fuel pin. Doesn't matter what fuel pin I'm using. Um, and then I wind the star wheel all the way down. That is how I start with this puck out. Now, that's how, that's where I give myself a start point, but usually on the power screw, what I'll do is I run the power screw in to start with, because you can buy power screws that are actually longer, but anyways, we won't get into that right now. Um, usually what I do is I go in till they start to idle up, give it another half a turn, and then I pull the idle back down. You can go way farther than that, but I've had issues with pump issues and that type of stuff. So I don't usually, I'm not trying to make astronomical power with these things. Um, we will probably get into that one day, um, but I got some other stuff. You know, there's a bunch of other projects I need to get finished before we play with that. But I do want to, I want to get into doing um, some high horsepower um, dyno runs and some, maybe some drag runs and stuff on a VE pump. But that's, will be for, won't be for a while. Um, just because I got a bunch of other stuff. So... 
as far as tuning goes, it's very simple. Same with that P pump. It's very simple. You literally just have to try. It's not your, I, I can't say do six turns here, this, that, this, that, and it'll work perfect. Absolutely not. Every truck is different. Anybody that tells you that, delete them. Don't talk to them because they don't know what they're talking about. Every engine's different. Every pump is different. Every pump is built different. Different injectors, different lift pump pressure, different fuel. And so anybody that tells you that is wrong. It just doesn't work that way. Um, oh, something else you do want to pay attention to. If you are having um, low, low boost problems, make sure this doesn't have any holes in it. Because if it does, uh, you won't build any power. Uh, what else? Oh, if you are going to be in here monkeying around. Now, this is something a little bit more in depth in doing. So you have to take top of the injection pump off is a RPM spring. I would recommend doing an RPM spring in these like the day that you buy it. Like change the oil, change the RPM spring. Go to at least a 3200. If you're going to go more than a 3200, I recommend doing valve springs. You don't have to, but that's what I recommend. Um, but it makes it a different truck, a completely different truck. So I would recommend doing um, RPM spring. RPM spring and as well as fuel pin at the same time uh, because that does make a big difference. But as far as tuning, they're very easy to tune. Like I said, just what I talked about, your fuel, your power screw, and you don't have to touch the power screw if you don't want to. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, you do not have to. You can just leave it alone, put your fuel pin in, put your RPM spring in, and pull this puck out. Um, and it will make a difference. Obviously, all of the adjustments make a bigger difference. Uh, but if you're just starting out and you don't want to get over your head, um, I would recommend, you know, doing the, the fuel pin and pulling this, this out is a good start. Give you a little bit extra. And then the next step for me, um, personally would be, uh, the RPM spring. I like the RPM spring. I would do, I do the RPM spring. Any of these trucks that I buy, I don't even drive them before I put an RPM spring in them. Like, I shouldn't say that. Like, if I bought it, I would drive it home. But after that, I wouldn't drive it anymore. So, just to let you guys know, that's what I recommend. Um, and as far as the tuning side of things, we will get maybe into, when I when I get working on that truck um, that we're gonna be working on, uh, this one is gonna happen for sure because I know the guy that, that we're doing it and we're doing some other stuff to the truck, so he has no other option because I'm gonna play with it. Um, so, because the last guy, I did a bunch of stuff to it. He was supposed to bring it back. He never brought it back. Not sure what the reason for it was, probably because he burnt the transmission out again. Here nor there, you don't listen, then you burn a transmission out, not my problem. Anyways, uh, like, subscribe, hit me down in the comments, and remember, it's not rocket science.